Part 3. The Unconscious Mind While much of our behavior is driven by conscious thought and intention, there is also a significant amount of unconscious processing happening beneath the surface. This includes everything from automatic physical responses, like blinking and breathing, to more complex cognitive processes like decision-making. Origins of the Unconscious Mind The concept of the unconscious mind was first introduced by Sigmund Freud, the founder of psychoanalysis. Freud believed that there were three levels of consciousness, the conscious, the preconscious, and the unconscious. The unconscious, he believed, held repressed memories, desires, and fears that influenced our behavior and emotions. 1. The Structure of the Mind Freud's model of the mind suggests that the unconscious is the largest part of our mental processes, and it operates according to its own logic and rules. He believed that the mind was divided into three parts, the id, the ego, and the superego. The id is the part of the mind that is entirely unconscious and operates on the pleasure principle, seeking immediate gratification of our desires. The ego operates on the reality principle, trying to balance the id's impulses with the constraints of the outside world. The superego is the part of the mind that represents our internalized moral values and ideals. 2. Unconscious Processes There are several ways in which unconscious processes can influence our behavior and emotions. These include defense mechanisms, such as repression, denial, and projection, which help us cope with anxiety and distressing emotions. Unconscious processes can also influence our behavior through automatic and habitual responses, such as driving a car or typing on a keyboard. 3. The Role of the Unconscious in Therapy The unconscious mind plays a crucial role in psychoanalytic therapy, where the goal is to bring unconscious thoughts and feelings into conscious awareness. By exploring repressed memories and emotions, individuals can gain insight into their behavior and make changes to improve their mental health and well-being. Conclusion The Unconscious Mind In conclusion, the unconscious mind is a fascinating and complex part of our mental processes that can influence our behavior and emotions in powerful ways. While the concept has its roots in psychoanalysis, contemporary research has shown that unconscious processes are present in many aspects of our lives, including decision-making, memory, and perception. By understanding the role of the unconscious in our mental lives, we can gain insight into our behavior and emotions, and make positive changes to improve our well-being. One key area of research in this field is the study of implicit biases. Implicit biases are unconscious attitudes or beliefs that influence our behavior and decision-making, often without our awareness. These biases can be based on a variety of factors, including race, gender, age, and more. Understanding Implicit Bias Implicit biases are attitudes or beliefs that are held unconsciously and automatically, without our awareness or conscious control. These biases can be based on a variety of factors, including race, gender, age, and more. They can be positive or negative, and they can influence our behavior and decision-making in subtle ways. 1. The Impact of Implicit Bias Implicit biases can have a significant impact on our interactions with others. They can influence our judgments, attitudes, and behaviors towards individuals and groups. For example, studies have shown that implicit biases can affect hiring decisions, medical diagnoses, and even courtroom judgments. These biases can also lead to discrimination, stereotypes, and prejudice. 2. Measuring Implicit Bias 
Researchers use a variety of methods to measure implicit biases, including the Implicit Association Test, IAT. The IAT measures the strength of associations between concepts, such as race and good or bad, and response times. The results can provide insight into implicit biases that individuals may not be aware of. 3. Addressing Implicit Bias Addressing implicit biases requires awareness and conscious effort. Strategies for addressing implicit biases include education and training, increasing exposure to diverse perspectives and experiences, and monitoring and regulating our own thoughts and behaviors. By acknowledging and addressing implicit biases, individuals and organizations can work towards creating a more inclusive and equitable society. Conclusion Implicit Biases In conclusion, implicit biases are unconscious attitudes or beliefs that can influence our behavior and decision-making in significant ways. Understanding the impact of implicit biases and working towards addressing them is critical for creating a more inclusive and equitable society. By increasing awareness and taking conscious efforts to address implicit biases, we can work towards creating a better future for all. Another important area of research in the study of the unconscious mind is the role of emotions. Emotions play a key role in shaping our behavior, and they are often processed unconsciously. For example, we may feel a sudden burst of anger or fear in response to a perceived threat, even before we have consciously processed the situation. The Role of Emotions Emotions are complex states of feeling that are associated with physiological and psychological changes. They play a critical role in our lives, influencing our behavior and decision-making. Emotions can be conscious or unconscious, and they can be triggered by a variety of stimuli, both internal and external. Unconscious Processing of Emotions Research has shown that many aspects of emotional processing occur unconsciously. For example, we may experience a sudden burst of fear or anger in response to a perceived threat, even before we have consciously processed the situation. This rapid emotional processing can influence our behavior in significant ways, and it can be difficult to regulate or control. The Impact of Unconscious Emotions on Behavior Unconscious emotions can have a significant impact on our behavior, often leading to impulsive or irrational actions. For example, individuals with a fear of spiders may experience a rapid emotional response when they encounter a spider, even if the spider poses no real threat. This emotional response can lead to avoidance behaviors or other irrational actions. Managing Unconscious Emotions Managing unconscious emotions requires awareness and conscious effort. Strategies for managing emotions include mindfulness, cognitive behavioral therapy, and emotion regulation techniques. By becoming more aware of our emotional responses and learning to regulate them, we can improve our behavior and decision-making. Conclusion Role of Emotions In conclusion, emotions play a critical role in shaping our behavior, and many aspects of emotional processing occur unconsciously. Understanding the impact of unconscious emotions on our behavior is essential for managing our emotions and improving our decision-making. By becoming more aware of our emotional responses and learning to regulate them, we can lead healthier and more fulfilling lives.